going on, y'all? So recently, I did a video on Ice Cube and the NFL working together to help out black-owned businesses. Now that's going on, I came across a hit piece about Ice Cube anti-Semitic views and anti-Asian views that he released on his album in 1991 on Death Certificate. Why is this coming up now? So in this video, I'm gonna read an article from this hit piece speaking about Ice Cube anti-Semitic and anti-Asian rhetoric. But before we get into that, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because I'm on my grind to get back my page monetized since YouTube recently demonetized my last page. Please leave a comment, like, and share this content that helped my channel grow. I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's get into this article. All right, so this news article is coming from, what is this? Oh, Next Shark. Ice Cube alleged anti-Asian, anti-Semitic past resurfaces after news of NFL partnership. As a prominent artist, Ice Cube is the face of their initiative. For this reason, critics were quick to remind the public of his history of targeting Jewish and Asian people in his song. All right, I wanna highlight the word Jewish people because he didn't highlight Jewish people in his songs. He highlight a Jewish person, but well, let's continue. On July 1st, the Washington Free Beacon cited Ice Cube use of the phrases white Jew and to refer to Jewish music producer Jerry Heller in his song, No Vaseline. So you telling me this man is talking about one particular person that happened to be Jewish and he calls that person a white Jew and not to mention Jerry Heller was the person that was responsible for taking most of the money from NWA and Ice Cube realized it. Ice Cube being a young black man coming into the music industry realizing that you no know, his worth is being taken advantage of by Jerry Heller. The Free Beacon described Ice Cube as an anti-Semitic rapper who in his song called For Violence Against Jews and Asians and No Vaseline he rapped, get rid of that devil real simple, put a bullet in his temple. He's talking about one man. He's talking about one man. So this black man talking about one man is anti-Semitic. In Black Korea, which is reportedly about racism against the black community by Korean shop owners in Los Angeles, Ice Cube threatened to burn your store right down to a crisp. He also called store owners in the song Orient to one penny counting mother and little Chinese mother. In the preceding song, Horny Little Devil, Ice Cube raps, go down to the corner store and beat the Jap up. All three tracks were part of his studio album, Death Certificate. The album was released October 31st, 1991, a few months after Rodney King fell victim to police brutality in Los Angeles. It escalated years long tension between blacks and korean community members it's too many holes in this article ice cube most recently stirred controversy in june 2020 when he posted tweets in support of louis, Fer louis farrakhan the nation of islam leader who has referred to jews as wicked deceivers of the american people and compared them to termites just because he posted a picture with louis farrakhan all right so let's just look at some of these several twitter users criticize the nfl partnership with ice cube following the announcement. NFL, Ice Cube partner on economic equality plan. The black racist bullshit in pro sports is amazing, one, one user wrote. That's why November would be the most damaging to leftists in history, overwhelming. Another question, why would NFL hire someone who calls violence against Asians and Jews to help with anything? How often do you hear about these programs for Hispanic or Asian community business compared to black ones? Who complains about racism the most? I'm not knocking for support of black community and businesses. Help all, help all or none. Not one, another tweeted. Today, Ice Cube has not reportedly apologized for his controversial remarks. He also threatened to sue journalists who describes him as anti-Semitic, as he should. So let's, let's break down some context into the dates and everything about this, right? So I'm going back, referring back to this article. Let's talk about Jerry Heller, right? Jerry Heller was the man responsible for NWA coming out, right? But Jerry Heller also saw an opportunity in some young black men and knowing that they had the talent, but not the business savvy of this. 
So Jerry Heller gave these dudes horrible contracts, took most of their money while they out there putting out the work. So Ice Cube should feel a type of way when a person is treating him like that. And it just so happened this person to be Jewish. So you calling Ice Cube anti-Semitic because he talking about one Jewish person that screwed him over in business dealings. But he talked about one Jewish person, this person's anti-Semitic, and something that happened over 30 years ago, it had to become the light when he makes a big move with the NFL. Now, let's also talk about the song Black Korea. Back in 1991, when this album came out, without giving context of what happened to Latasha Harlins in March of 1991, Latasha Harlins was a black teenager that went to a Korean store that was shot by a Korean store owner, and that Korean store owner was found not guilty for her murder. So how was a young black man, as such as Ice Cube, coming off of a horrible record deal, finally got everything finalized in 1990, also seeing Latasha Hollins getting killed by a Korean store owner, she got acquitted of the murder. What do you expect this man is talking about? What do you expect him to talk about? But it's okay for rappers talk about killing black folks all day. But he mentioned that's going something that's going on with Latasha Hollins and what's going on in his business dealings. And you guys want to bring that up 30 years later. I'm telling you, yeah, we gotta really start understanding there's a lot of forces against us, and a lot of times we see these forces as allies, not enemies. How in the world is this coming up? now that he struck a deal with the nfl to work with black owned businesses let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments man i think it's very ironic that this timing of ice cube coming out of the nfl dealing and now y'all want to bring this up and trying to uh, use anti-semitic and anti-asian because you know right now those are strong words those are strong words and you're trying to block this deal that ice cube got with the nfl but let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments man i meet y'all down there i appreciate your time I right, peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. I right, later. One.